Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be for the Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign of Gemini. Gemini, this is your weekly general reading for the 17th through the 23rd of June, 2019. I'm using the Psychic Tarot, and we have Throat Chakra. Very interesting, because this is the chakra, Gemini, that represents your energy. So that's going to be flowing freely for you uh, this week. Good communication. Love it. Now, I'm also using messages from your animal spirit guides. All right, we have the boar, pig. Face your problems head on with confidence and courage, and you will emerge victorious. Love it. All right. Very positive. I'm going to be using the Morgan Greer this week for your weekly reading. And I will be pulling a daily positive thoughts and affirmation at the end of your reading, Gemini. Please keep in mind I already uploaded the uh, July 2019 monthly general reading. So go check that out if you'd like. All right, Gemini, let's see what Spirit has for you this week. All right, thank you, Spirit. What does Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign need to know, Spirit? 17th through the 23rd. Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. Thank you, Spirit. All right. We are ready, Gemini. All right. The current situation of the week is the Ace of Rods. Very nice. Crossing you is the Four of Pentacles. In your foundation, the lovers, this is your energy, Gemini. All right. Recent past, Knight of Swords. Crowning you, again, your energy. You're getting all of the major arcana that represent you, Gemini. All right. The magician. <laughs> and we have the emperor as the new circumstance. Very nice. From the bottom of the deck, we do have the overall energy, uh, the five of pentacles. All right. So let me take a quick look here. Right. All right, Gemini, let's take a look at your major energies. Now we have the Five of Pentacles, and this is the overall energy, and I kind of see that you're working really hard on manifesting a new beginning, and this may have to do with your financial stability and security. This could be coming... You could be coming from a place maybe of a hardship or lack, all right? So, you, I see where you are, you know, using your manifesting skills here to co-create and manifest your desired outcome, I truly feel like, for your uh, financial situation. And your outcome energy is just off the charts here with the emperor, so... I really feel like you're going to be successful at what it is that you are manifesting here. And now again, here we go. We have the throat chakra. This is communication. This is, you know, using your skill of being able to communicate your desires. Uh, maybe this is what you're doing while you're manifesting. Talking to spirit, your spirit guides, your angels. This could be you communicating your desires to a place of an employment or a job situation as well. But most importantly to understand is that this is flowing freely for you. So if something does need to be uh, said or maybe there's a raise that you've been wanting to ask for, this is going to be a really great time during this week to be able to do this, okay? 
This is all about clear communication. Now we have the boar pig. Face your problems head on with confidence and courage and you will emerge victorious. And I feel like that's exactly what you're doing. If you're coming from a space of feeling of hardship or lack in your financial area, Gemini, hit it head on. And that's exactly what you're doing. I really do feel like you are speaking up for yourself. You're speaking your true intentions, whether that's in manifesting or telling a boss, you know, hey, look, it's time for a raise or a promotion. This could be a job change as well. Now, the situation of the week is the Ace of Rods. This is a very powerful energy. This is a new beginning. This is you having a creative vision. Something about that, you know, this new beginning has to do with an adventure you're, that you're ready to embark on. This is a fresh start. Very positive. This also tells me that you have a lot of passion and desire backing this new beginning, okay? Okay. Now, we have the Four of Pentacles coming in here in your crossing energy. This can either be a, a positive or a challenge. And I kind of see it going both ways with you this week, Gemini. Because if this is uh, the overall energy, a feeling of hardship or lack of some type that has to do with your finances. Uh, so this could definitely, because the Four of Pentacles represents power and control over your, your financial stability and security and something built on a strong and firm foundation. But this can also be a positive for you because this is what you're manifesting. This is what you want. This is, you know, you're going after that control over your financial gain and working on it. Now we have the lovers in your foundation. This is what's driving you, moving you forward this week. And this is your energy, Gemini. Now this can represent love relationships um i don't feel like for the majority that it is about love now for some of you it could be but i feel like for the majority of you this has to do with making a major life decision all right a major choice and i really do feel like your finances have something to do with this now in your recent past energy we have the knight of swords and this is your energy gemini libra and aquarius the Knight of Swords is very self-assured, very frank, very knowledgeable. Uh, he uses power with intent so to get things done, to take action. Uh, the only downside to this energy is to make sure that you don't get impatient with what it is that you're working towards, okay? Now, there may have needed to be a, a truth spoken in your recent past or maybe cutting away any negative energies or situations or people that weren't serving your best interest as well. Now we have again the magician. This is what you know. This is what's crowning you, Gemini. This is your energy and Virgo. This is you being very focused, having laser focus, setting your intentions, using communication, using your mind, to focus on what it is that you're wanting to manifest in your life. You are co-creating. And you're using all the tools on the table that are available to you to be able to co-create and manifest what it is that you want. Now what's beautiful is your new circumstance is the emperor. This is the energy of Aries. This again, this is you taking control and power over your situation. Now, it's going to be different for everyone, but the, the, this is you asserting yourself, starting new projects, starting a new job. This is you building something that's going to last and having that power and control over your finances, okay? Something that is built on a strong and firm foundation is what you're going after. And I feel like you're going to start to see, you know, by the end of this week, where what you've been manifesting coming to fruition, uh, you're going to start seeing that you are able to take back control over maybe your financial situation. And it's very empowering. This is very bold and powerful energy right here. This is a leader. This is a boss type energy. So uh, a lot of passion and desire as well with these energies. Now, Gemini, uh, you know, whatever this lack or hardship may be for you, you're taking action on it. 
you are using clear communication. You're setting your intentions and you're moving forward. Face your problems head on with confidence and courage and you will emerge victoriously. This is victory right here, the emperor. So all these energies are lining up together. They're working with each other. So you are moving straight ahead. You know what it is you want. You want this new creative beginning that you're very passionate about. I feel like it's going to allow for you to take back over financial gain over your situation. That stability and security. It is going to require you, I feel like, making a major decision and having balance. Now, you're coming from a space from your recent past of, you know, being very well knowledge on what it is that you're moving towards. Very self-assured. You have a lot of self-confidence. You're taking action. You are using the magician energy, your own energy, to manifest and co-create what you truly want and you desire. And you're going to get it with the emperor here. This is you taking back power, taking a stand, asserting yourself. You being in control over your life. Very nice. One more. All right, Gemini. I am so lucky to be alive in this beautiful world. I don't worry about things I can't control. Instead, I choose peace and trust everything works out for my well-being. Love it. All right, Gemini, I love you guys. Please leave me a comment. Let me know how these energies are playing out in your situation. I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye, Gemini.